On March 3rd, 1923, this Time magazine cover appeared on newsstands, highlighting the career of outgoing U.S. House Speaker Joseph Cannon. That issue would be the first of more than 5,000 for a magazine that has reached more people across the world than any other. Today, Time is celebrating its 100th birthday with a special edition looking back at the magazine's incredible legacy. And joining us now, Time's editor-in-chief, Edward Felsenthal. Edward, it's great to have you back on the show. Great to so be here. So tell us how Time, how, how is Time looking back at its 100 years and celebrating? Well, we're, we're just um, thrilled, everybody in the Time family, to, to hit this milestone. And we're both looking back and looking forward. Um, on the one hand is something that's never changed, which is we still, 100 years later, are telling history through the people who shape it, like that cover you showed of Joe Cannon with the border mm -hmm. around it. That's how we think about the core of what we do. But we're also evolving. And these two guys who founded Time in 1923 were innovators and disruptors, uh, trying to create a publication for what they viewed incredibly as an age of information overload. And we've continued that spirit of innovation and disruption, and that's uh, why we're at 100 and looking excitedly toward the next 100. Yes, and I, I guess the I, I know what the next question is, but I'm also just thinking of all the incredible moments in history that Time's cover has captured in one photo um, that will mark a moment that changes us forever, whether it be 9-11 or the Challenger explosion or a person who changed our times. Um, and I wonder with that, how has time changed? What is time today? Well, I think I have two answers to that. One way we've changed is the nature of the stories we tell. Joe Cannon on that cover, the epitome of the old guard. And uh, this week in this issue, along with our anniversary, we're also featuring our Women of the Year, Time to International Women's Day. And so people who are disrupting the old guard. And so our, our, the stories we, change, we tell obviously uh, have, have changed. The other is the ways we tell them, the formats we tell them. In 1923, that issue went to 9,000 people in the mail. Today, we have more than 100 million in, uh, in our audience all, all over the world. It's a brand known everywhere. We do global events. We, have, uh, we tell stories through documentaries and films, one on MSNBC right now. We, we have uh, a climate action platform. Uh, we, we, our business has evolved. Our platforms have evolved. Our audience has grown largest in our history. Time has changed, and it's time still at changed. the same time time for 100 years. Time's editor-in-chief, Edward Felsenthal, thank you and congratulations on Thanks. this incredible accomplishment for this magazine. Thanks, Mika. All right, it is